morning and welcome to the travel vlog here on Theme Park Family on tour where we are going to a Europa Park in Germany. Cannot wait. I know that you're wondering why I'm wearing my Port Aventura hat because I can't find another hat anywhere. But speaking of Port Aventura, I know that a lot of people will say that at the travel vlog when we went to Port Aventura didn't give, really give you that much information. However, this one will be. Um, we'll be doing nothing but public transport. So I'll leave all the links in the description at the bottom of this video. Um, so in the meantime, we are going to head towards the train station. When we get to the train station, we are going to fly from Luton Airport, um, where we're going to go to Basel, the city itself, and then we're going to get a, a train to Ringsheim, where Europa Park is. So in the meantime, why don't you guys follow us to the train station? the uh, Derby train station here. Now you're probably wondering what kind of exit and entrance is this? This is actually the Pride Park exit and entrance. There is another one over the bridge on the other side. So at the moment, it's roughly, we've got to wait about 10 minutes for the train. Um, so uh, here we go, Luton Airport Parkway. Now we're outside the Luton Airport Parkway where you are, yeah, this is where we actually catch the shuttle bus. It takes about roughly about three stairs to get down to it all right outside the front there. Okay, right now, me and Haley are getting extremely drunk at the uh, Luton Airport. Um, just to give you a heads up, I forgot to mention to you that uh, at the Luton Airport Parkway, the prices are £2.40 for a single and £3.80 for an open return. Um, and the actual bus is literally at the uh, exit. And how easy is it to get to Luton Airport Parkway to Luton? It's so easy. And it takes roughly about six minutes. And there's buses every 10 minutes as well, so they're quite frequent. Um, so at the moment, we have got roughly about an hour before we uh, before we board the plane, and then we're going to head towards Basel in Switzerland, and then we're going to catch a train from Switzerland to Ringsheim in Germany, where Europa Park is. Okay, we've landed, we're here at Switzerland. Woo! Just let you know, I'm gonna put on screen now, when you actually come out of uh, the passport control, you've got a left and a right, you've got France on the left and you've got Switzerland on the right. Um, make sure you use the right exit, obviously, because you're in Switzerland. Um, also, when you actually uh, get your ticket to go on the bus, because it does take about 10 to 15 minutes on the bus 
from the airport to Basel City where we're going to be catching the train. Now, if you can just see over there, the green uh, vending machine, that is where you get your Basel City ticket to get onto this bus here, which is number 50. We're going to catch the next one um, and that will take you to Basel City, that is, where we're going to we'll be catching the train again. But overall, the flight itself, was all right, wasn't it, Haley? It wasn't yeah. too bad. It, it made some funny noises. It took about an hour and twenty minutes, um, so not long at all. Um, it's but all been relatively yeah, it's bad. been it's been all right to be fair. It's been quite simple. She found out that the green one is just the card. So once again, when you come to this machine here, go to World Curve. You make sure you click on the English, so you have a rough idea. Then you need to go to uh, Basel, the SBB. Which is the main town centre here, SBB. You want a direct one there. Click direct again. You want second class. It's an adult I'm after. And it does come up to uh, six, ten euros. Here we go. The bus has arrived. the train station it's about what 18 minutes 18 minutes to actually get here but you'll see on the board screens they'll have like numbers and stuff like that they're just the countdown of uh, how many stops was and how long it's taken pretty much this is where we've actually stopped at and the train station is just around this corner here now, if you do need to buy a ticket there is a ticket machine just here however me and Haley have bought our tickets in advance. Okay, this is uh, the train station. Like I said before, we are gonna grab something to eat first. However, though, there is ticket machines just here. There's a cash machine there. You got the escalator, and that's where our train is waiting for us. Here is some of the information what me and Haley have actually got. We've actually have pre-booked our tickets. Like I say, there is uh, the ticket office just down there. There's also an information area just over there in that corner. Um, but it did cost us 39 euros and 80 cents for this. Our train doesn't leave until 17 at 13. And then we do have to have a change at Frigberg, I think it is. Um, and then Frigberg to Ringsan where Europa Park is. So we should be getting there for roughly about 18 at 28, it looks like there. But overall, it's been an easy experience. So next time you see us, we'll be on the train. Okay, we are just heading towards gate number 11 now, where our train is. There it is, 17 at 13 to Frigberg. Here it is, very simple. All the way down there, got all the gates. We've just actually at Ringsam now. Uh, we did catch the other uh, train, however, though we didn't film anything because we was in a rush. We had about a minute left to do it. Um, if you just look over, just over there, that's the bus where you catch to get to Europa Park. We were just over on the other side, and you got to kind of go underneath and then pop up the top over here again. So that's where we are at the moment. We are going to try and catch a taxi though, not the bus, because that is taking us to Europa Park, and our taxi is taking us about 20 minutes away from Europa Park. So yeah, we are going to look, try and look for a taxi. Okay, here's some of the times here. Oh, we seem to have a, a cat trolling around. Um, here we go, we've got Monday to Friday, we've got Saturday and we have Sunday with some of the times. They are staggered. They're not like every 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Um, some are, like for, for example, we've got here one at nine o'clock, one here is at 9.35, and then the next one after that is 10.35. Um, so pretty much it's literally right near the train station, just right here if you want to catch the bus to Europa Park, if you do have a hotel there. So 
we're here. Here we are, finally near Europa Park. We are roughly about about eight minutes drive it is, um, but the guy did actually say who we are actually stopping with. He has at a uh, uh, an apartment. Um, he says it roughly takes about eight minutes walk. So I'm a bit confused. Is it eight minutes walk or is it eight minutes drive? But anyway, it's not going to take that long at all. Um, it has uh, it has been tiring. It has been long. I hope the information has come across um, super clear to you. However, I will leave all the websites. Um, at the bottom of this video in the description also i'm going to drop in the uh the telephone number of the taxi rank what we used uh, just in case you're not stopping at the europa park uh hotel um so that's it really um it's been tiring it's been worth it the price in itself is it's not cost us a lot the the house what we're stopping at the moment it cost uh about 100 uh, euros um the park tickets itself they cost a uh, 100 euros for two days and uh, the traveling itself, the that the aeroplane and stuff, it's uh, cost us about so all in total, it's cost us about three hundred euros. Um, so for four days, so it's it's not that badly priced at all, and it's extremely easy to get to. However, I will just say there is a direct train from Basel to uh, Ringsheim, so you don't have to change at uh, Frigbo. I think it's Frigbo or something like that. Um, but there is a direct train. However, though we did do a change. Uh, but I would advise next time I do this that I'm going to get a direct train because it only left us about four minutes and our train was running slightly delayed. So we had to kind of rush to get onto that train. Um, but yes, we're here next time you'll see us. It will be in Europa Park. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing two vlogs or uh, or just the one, it depending on how big the park is. Um, I want to give the park justice itself. So if there is quite a lot to do, um, I will be doing two vlogs. Um, you will know that by if it says Europe Park, part one. Um, so that's it. So from me, Danny and theme park family, thank you for watching. Take care. See you soon.